All right, so we're back with the with the uh, the next next beer and the Iron Maiden beer review. So, Trooper Light Brigade. Uh, it's a 4.1% uh, golden beer, is what it says. So, Light Brigade golden beer, brewed in support of Help for Heroes. So, in support of that that uh, charity, Light Brigade is a 4.1 golden beer created by Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson and Robinson Brewery, made using Chinook and Golding hops. Packs a punch with its hoppy and fruity flavour and a citrus grapefruit kick. The beer is well balanced to give a rounded, long-lasting after palate. Three P from each sale of the bottle be contributed to help for heroes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Quite a cool little Union Jack bloody bottle top there. Not cleaning the glass, don't give a shit today. It's Iron Maiden day for me. Should be at the concert. Fuck coronavirus. There you go. Look at that. So this is a golden. This is a golden ale. And yep. So she's a lot lighter than the than the troopers we've had. Um, it's also it also shows you how much a, a pint glass holds. A three thirty is a lot less than a pint. Smelly smelly wise. Smelly wise. So just having a sniff of this. I'd say me. Me old factories are just about poked for the day. Can't really smell anything on that, so we'll have to go for the taste test. Oh, that's got a fucking mean bite. It's got a nice bite to it. Um, yep, so citrusy, definitely like that grapefruit pith. Uh, yeah, sort of that citrusy pithy sort of bite or maybe if you um i don't know if you've done it before but like bitten a like to, to open a a um, or peel an orange you bite into the skin and pick it off and you get that sort of inside of your mouth that's pretty much what you get it's quite um it's quite tangy yeah it's a good oh it's good like I'm not going to say any of these are bad, am I? Although there is a porter coming up, so maybe. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty good. And at 4.1, it's got a lot of flavour. Like for a, I mean, when I say a low alcohol beer, I mean most of our beers that we drink, the you know our standard drafts and that are generally 4%. This is 4.1. It's got a lot of flavour, uh, and it's probably got a lot more flavour than your stock standard sort of stuff like your db draft and your line red this has got a ton of flavor yep so another good one good one from iron maiden all right so we're back neighbors are getting a little bit of a lesson in uh, um, iron maiden history uh, as are you with beers so this is hallowed this is the fourth in the in the sort of the line of um, the beers it's a belgian uh, inspired beer um, created by uh, Robinsons. It says Hallowed is the fourth beer created by Iron Maiden and handcrafted by Robinsons Brewery. A hybrid beer inspired by Belgium and brewed in England. Hallowed has the trooper DNA running through its veins, still charged with flavour and with crystal rye giving Hallowed a blood red hue and smooth dry finish. This is one of Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson's finest brews yet. I have always loved Belgian beer, but I wanted to make sure that we put a British twist on our brew. I think we have created something unique. The Belgian style yeast combines with noble hops to deliver a complex palette of subtle banana with a plum finish. Enjoy cold. It's a 6%, so it's a 6% Belgium. Let's have a go. So blood red hue. Oh yeah, she's a yeah, she's definitely red, isn't it? Look at that. It's almost a petrol colour. So there you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, sniff. Oh, that's yeah. What is that? That's a so it's a it's a six percent, and you can actually smell. It's got a very, very, um, 
what I would say is it's got a very it, it smells like it's gonna taste so let's have a whatever that means let's have a go oh that is delicious That is, it, it feels heavy, if you want to know what I mean. It's got lots of body, it's got lots of um, flavour, it's, it's bitter, but it's, it's sort of sharp bitter rather than long bitter. It's sharp, it's very sharp. Yeah, that's a good beer. That's a good beer. So that's uh, hallowed. That's our hallowed. Done. Hey legends, welcome back to beer reviews of the beer sage. We're on to our last one from the box of Iron Maidens. It's got a bit cold. I've had to put on the Iron Maiden. Switch it. Because it's fucking cold. Anyway, red and black is our last one. It's a porter. Now, I'm not usually a fan of fucking porters, but... This is an Iron Maiden beer, so you know that my expectations are going to be pretty low. I'm going to say, this is fucking great, even if it tastes like, well, a porter. It's a 6.8, so that's a fucking, that's nearly 7%, so that's a decent brew. The colour, it's not just black, it's red too, the red and black, Trooper red and black. Porter is the first dark beer in the Trooper ranks, and a modern take on a recipe dating back centuries. The red and black colour comes from the blend of chocolate and crystal malt which gives this full bodied beer a roasted malt and caramel backbone. The Robinson's yeast provides hints of both licorice and honey character to create a delicious warming brew. Uh, designed yet again by Iron Maiden vocalist and ale aficionado Bruce Dickinson and the head brewer at Robinson's Brewery, red and black takes its inspiration from an original Robinson's recipe from the 1850s, a time when porter style beer was becoming increasingly popular in Britain. So 6.8, 330ml uh, porter. Like I said, I'm, this is these are dark beers. Um, I'm not a real fan of darks, but we'll have a we'll have a go. I mean, because we have to, because that's what I do for you guys. I I fucking review these beers, even though I really don't like the style. This is a porter. <sighs> it's dark look at it look at it coming out there it's nothing like those black lagers that we were just doing the other day those garage project ones but let's have a let's have a go that's quite dark it's not super dark but it's dark oh and i can smell it already you can smell it tastes oh you can smell that it's it's got a chocolatey sort of oh, not I wouldn't say Guinness but that stouty sort of stuff but anyway it, this is a porter so let's have a go yeah I'm yeah not for me not for me and I, if if i can quote my uh, missus she would say tastes like blood and this tastes tastes like blood it's it's almost like you're drinking a fucking iron sandwich i mean some people really get into their dark beers i'm not a fucking dark beer fan at all um Yeah, not a fan of that one. But then again, you know, there are people who really like their porters and their darks and stuff. That's not for me. And um, disappointed. No, I'm not. It's it's okay. I'll drink it. But holy fuck. Yeah, maybe I won't drink it. <laughs> maybe I won't. It's a bit fucking horrible for me. Yeah. All right. So, if I'm going to give it a, if I'm going to rate them, I'm just going to grab the box. 
So here's the box we've got here. If I'm gonna rate them on a, my scale, from what I like, uh, the original Trooper is the best, followed by 666, which is the upgraded Trooper. Uh, I would then go for the Light Brigade, then the Sun and Steel, then the Hallowed, and unfortunately, like the Red and Black, another Iron Maiden song, Red and Black, is um, to me last. So we got through a uh, we got through a Trooper collection, and we've still got the other half to go. Fucking, I'll be uh, you'll be picking me up out of the gutter later on tonight. All right, stay safe.